Welcome back to the channel. Here at you with another video. Taking a little break from the GMC Sierra today. We're here working on this 2009 Chevy Impala. Beautiful cars. You guys can look at all the reviews in past videos I did on these cars. They're my favorite vehicles. Uh, today what I want to talk about is the repercussions of over torquing your lug nuts on your wheels. So this car needs brakes. Yes guys, it happens sometimes. Your cars need brakes. Okay, it happens. It, it just happens. And well, I think I'm going to put some brakes on her today. So I bought the brakes for the car. Here they are. Big car with small pads. Go figure. Small cars got bigger pads. It is what it is. I'm not I'm not questioning it, okay? Whatever. Okay. But anyway, back to the video at hand. This is what happens, guys, when you over torque your lug nuts. This is one of the repercussions, okay? And one of the repercussions is you'll twist off your lug nuts. Now, I put my air gun which is right here, that couldn't take it. Couldn't do it. I had to throw it away, guys. I had to toss it aside. I had to get out the big guy. This guy. Let me introduce you to the big guy, okay? And I had to put it on, and I had to stand on the end, and I had no choice but to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist. It was a horrible situation, guys. It was really stressful for me. But anyway, guys... Just showing you, you know, if you don't torque your nuts properly, and I don't ever tell you torque spits for vehicles because they may vary in the areas where you live, and I don't want to be a part of that, so I use my own torque spits for what it is here in my area. And I had to go out and buy all new nuts and the lug bolts for the car. Because, well, they broke. And when they break, it's bad. But, all we gotta do now, guys, is get that drum off and start beating at those, at those lug nuts. Because they're pretty rough. So we're just gonna beat this one off. And what we gotta do, guys, we gotta pound on them. We got a pen on them. That's one. And that's two, guys. Okay, so guys, so to get these pads out is not very difficult. They're just down to the adjuster on here, and this, this is a one-piece unit. All you have to do is just pry up, slip them off that adjuster, and they come off. Now, in my case, I don't have to remove this pad all the way. I just need the room so I can get my new bolt installed inside. So I don't need to take them right off, okay? I just need to slip them to the side. And we're almost there, guys. <laughs> And I got this one in, you see? Now, these need to lock in to this piece. So guys, I got that one in. All I done was, I put the nut on 
and just tightening in. Ease in place. Now I'm just trying to work, and I'll show you with this one. I just sometimes I got to put the camera down, guys, and think about it. Oh, I had it in reverse. studs on there guys and this always gives me an issue every time I do this that's that one that's that one so that's that one installed again guys and now we have our studs on we can put this one back on which can be a bit tricky because we had the pads off we had the handbrake off so might have got a bit adjusted but now he is now he's in place I'm gonna put a little bit of spray on these because they're pretty rusty and I don't want them to get worse. So guys, we have new pads. You can see how these were wore down right here. They were wore down a fair amount. So, well, a lot of pad left, but you know, it's time to change them. The rear one was actually completely gone, the inner part of the pad, which could signify that the, cal that the uh, caliper might be not working 100%. It might signify that, but sometimes it might not. But we'll find out. So I'm just going to clean these up a little. These are the slider pins, which guys, if you guys watch in my videos, over and over again when I do these kind of jobs, I stress the importance of greasing your sliders, okay? And it is very, 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 very important. And like, whatever kind of grease you use, that's what you use, but I just use the uh, Ultratac EP2. This is my, you know, it's premium multi-purpose, okay? And it's extreme pressure grease. So I just like using this one. I've never had an issue and from brake job to brake job, it actually lasts on the slider pins. So it's just what I use. And you know, you just work them in, get them going. Because guys, I can't stress the importance enough of those sliders being able to slide Dirt dirty sliders because that's what they do. They slide the pads in and out on the rotor. And if they're not sliding properly, they could be sticking on the rotor or just making the brakes not work properly. It's my opinion, it's the most important thing on any brake system is to have clean sliders. And I just work them back and forth for a while, make sure that they're sliding nice. When I stop feeling tension, I know that things are starting to go good for them. And that's basically it. Such a simple little thing to do is to do that. And a lot of people, 
you know, and to be honest, a lot of grad just don't do that. Now, where I deal with, the grad I deal with, they do. They're very professional. They're, they're, they, the grad I deal with, they're very professional and they do that. So guys, I just want to give a shout out to the garage that I get all my professional work done on all of all of our vehicles uh, when it comes to odd jobs on the weekend i sometimes do here but these guys do 95 percent of all the work that i get done and i'm just giving them a shout out because they deserve it uh the owner of the garage is a excellent excellent guy and their staff is absolutely professional uh they have two bays they have two ramps they get what you need everything is there a day after just very professional and so they deserve a shout out for you know the good job that they do and guys you have never seen me do a shout out to anybody anybody before but i'm doing this shout out right now for for those guys because well they deserve it excellent excellent work so you know if you want to get work done on your vehicle you can go there. So if you want professional service, go to Average Joe's or give them a call. Give them a shout. Anyway, guys, back to the video. And they did do that. And now, guys, I'm going to put this caliper bracket back in its place. There's many different methods to pushing your piston back in on your caliper. Is this, and if you guys look back through my previous videos, you'll see that I've used this door hinge so many times. Well, it protects everything, and you can put your you can put your device on and bring your piston in. And your piston should go in nice and free, like it's happening for me here now. If your piston goes in nice and free, then you know that, well, most times if your piston goes in nice and easy, it means that your piston is working good in your caliper. And my piston, as you can see, went in flush, he's good. No issues there to report. <clears throat> And now I'm ready to put my pads on. So, guys, <laughs> those pads didn't come with the new clips, but I have the old ones, so I'm just going to clean them up. I have grease on my hands. I wouldn't recommend doing this because I'm using, doing this with my hand. That could slip off and trust me you don't want a wire wheel inside your hand uh, I had to get some sandpaper the world is getting cheaper and cheaper by the minute guys they're not even giving these clips with brake pads and they came from CarQuest in Gander too There we go, and you can put, oops, well, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys, I got to clean this one, <laughs> no, I'm not Russian, guys, I'm Canadian, <laughs> put 
But yeah, I mean, this is all just important to keep clean. Well, they usually give you new ones, so, but they didn't this time. But this is just important to keep clean as well as just keep your sliders clean. The world is just getting cheaper. So that's one pad, guys. Now we're going to put the other pad on the inside. There we go. That's the other pad. And we're going to put the caliper. Make sure you don't squish in your rubbers on the back. You know, guys, like doing this is really easy. It's it's not a big job. It's not, you know, nothing too hard. It's fairly simple. Uh, anybody can do this. You know, if you got the, you know, some tools. You don't need a expensive amount of tools. You don't need big air tools like I have and stuff. As long as you got a basic tool set, anybody can do this. But remember the importance of over torquing your lug nuts. You'll break your lugs. That's one of the things that happen, let alone hurt your rim. And if you if you hurt your rim, that's gonna give issues or hurt the actual lug nuts themselves, right? So it's not a good idea, guys. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to stress here today. Just gonna tighten him so far first. And I'm gonna come back and give a torque down. I always give a little couple smacks with a hammer just to make sure everything is torqualizing. And look, we don't mess around with tires, guys. We keep them nice and new. If they're not nice and new, well then, what do you have really? On this one are new nuts. Now guys, once I put these nuts on, I'm going to torque these to their proper set. This is just putting them on.
you notice what I did there guys, I emphasized on those two. It was just to make sure that the studs were 100% in and I could feel it on the rim when they went in and touched. That's all I did there. This is all going to be torqued. Pull out the jack stand. Always use a jack stand guys. Don't just trust a jack. So I'm all done. The new lugs are in with the new nuts where they need it to be on both sides. So again, that's the new lugs and the new nuts. All new rear pads. And I didn't want to bore you guys with doing the other side. I torqued it all down with my DeWalt torque wrench right here. And as I said, I don't give it specs to what I use because it could be different in your area and if something had happened to you, I wouldn't want to be responsible for it, okay? Cap, all new lugs were needed, all new nuts were needed, emergency brake, everything all put back in place, all new pads, sliders all greased up and done. The rear should be good for a while now and all torqued down, which is very important. So guys... I hope that little video helps or just something for you to watch. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you on the next one.